According to experts, one-third of all women in the United States will suffer from a pelvic floor disorder. The term represents a spectrum of conditions from incontinence to a loss of muscle support for internal organs. Rebecca of Harrisonburg, Virginia was one of those women and her symptoms were life-altering. I didn't want to be around people um, because of the problems I was having with um, leakage and, and um, I was having problems with um, irregularity and gas and things like that, so it was really embarrassing to be around people. Doctors Kathy Hullfish and Elisa Trowbridge, urogynecologists at the University of Virginia Health System, specialize in helping women with pelvic floor disorders regain their normal lives. There are several treatment options for pelvic conditions. These include non-surgical and surgical. Non-surgical can include things as simple as making dietary changes, exercise, and pessaries. Surgery can be tailored to the patient's needs and goals. Hullfish and Trowbridge have found particular success using the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. The small robotic hands can perform delicate procedures in a less invasive way, making recovery faster. But first, women need to stop suffering in silence. I think the first and foremost thing is to have a woman realize she's not alone. I'm amazed at how many patients come to see us who have been referred in by either a family member or a friend with very similar problems. The second issue, I would say, has to do with self-advocacy. A patient needs to bring up these conditions and symptoms with their health care provider. I would encourage someone to be their own advocate. No one's going to do it for you. For the University of Virginia Health System, I'm Abina Foreman reporting.